What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to LTH. My name is Abe and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up modded Minecraft on TrueNAS, specifically using Curse Forge. So as we can see, here it is. We have the All Mods 10 loaded up, running perfectly on our TrueNAS server. And we have all the mods and features and quests and maps and storylines working. So let me show you guys how to do this on TrueNAS right now. What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to LTH. You already know what this video is about because of the intro, but the one thing I'm not going to show in this video is how to set up an SMB share. Now, if you click the link to the article down below for this specific video, it will link you to episode 24, Jellyfin on TrueNAS, but just follow creating an SMB share on TrueNAS if you don't have one already set up. If you do, you would open it like this in your file explorer under network and you would be able to connect to your TrueNAS device, okay? So moving on with this portion of the actual video, setting up a Minecraft modded server on TrueNAS, we are going to be using CurseForge. So these will all be linked on the article, but download the CurseForge app. And then once that's downloaded, you can go to this tab, which is also linked on the article, find whatever Minecraft mods you would like to use. And then once you've decided, in this case, we are going to use all mods 10, you can continue with this video, but do it for your specific mod pack or just follow along with this mod pack so you know how to do it. When we have selected our mod pack, what we need to do is go to the files tab to see the files for the mod pack. So it's this tab right here. And then you need to pick the files that you want to use. In our case, we're going to use the latest one. So we're gonna click the top one. Now these are all the mods that you need to install in the Curse Forge app. So you can download them from right here or you can download them from within the app. We are going to download them from within the app. All right, so setting up the app, once again, I just clicked that download button. I'm gonna click next. It's going to install it in our local user folder. And we're just gonna click install, let this finish really quickly. We're gonna continue as guest for the time being. And then we can see we have Minecraft as an option. We're gonna use the standard recommended for the Java edition, click continue. And now we can browse our mod packs from within here or search for it up here. So we're gonna search for all the mods 10. And then right here, directly install all the mods 10 within CurseForge. So while that is downloading, we need to also grab the server files. So under that same tab where all the mods files are at, we can actually see down here an additional files tab. And this is where the server files are located, okay? And so go ahead, click the right little three dots to the far right and download the file and this will give us all the dot jar files that we need to install on the server side for the mods okay so now here in the top right we can see this is downloaded so it's time to go over to TrueNAS log into your TrueNAS machine once you're logged into your machine you should be on a front dashboard just like this we're going to click apps and then on the far right we're going to click discover apps and then we can search for minecraft and then we're going to use minecraft java edition if you already have this installed it might tell you to install another instance which we are going to do and then once we're in here we need to just configure these commands which will allow us to put this into a format specifically for modded Minecraft. Now these are some super important steps, so ensure that you are following all these correctly. And if you would like just screenshots that take this a little bit slower, please click our video notes down below in the description and you can follow those at your own pace. 
Okay, so the first thing we need to do is the application name. This can not be repeated from other apps within your environment. As you can see, we already have an app called Minecraft. So we'll do Minecraft Curse Forge. I guess it doesn't want capitals. Can we do an undercase? Nope. So we'll do dashes, I guess. So Minecraft Curse Forge video. Just like this. And then under the version we're just going to leave it the same because we're going to change it down here go ahead and pick your time zone i am mountain time so i'm going to do denver we need to agree to the user level agreement for minecraft and then for the image selector this is kind of the important part number four okay you need to ensure you're using the Java version based on your modded pack. Now there's not necessarily a clear answer to which version of Java that you need to use. So what you're probably gonna have to do is grab the Minecraft version and then ask Google. So we can see this version works on 1.21.1. And then you just go to Google and be like, what version of Java did Minecraft version 1.2.1.1 use? And then select that within here. We know Java 21 is the most current version and we're using the most current version of Minecraft. So we can just go with Java 21. For step five, which is the type, it is going to be NeoForge in our case. And we know it's NeoForge because the mod loader type on the website shows us NeoForge. For number six, with a version, we're gonna type in what we saw earlier, 1.21.1, which again, comes from the mod page under the game version. The rest of these can be left the same, and we're gonna go all the way down to the Archon password, and you can set this to whatever you would like it to be. So the next thing we need to do is set additional environment variables. This page may differ depending on your mode pack potentially, but for CurseForge, we will need to use two variables, cf underscore page URL and cf underscore API underscore key. So scrolling down, we have found additional environment variables which is right above user and group configuration if you're struggling to find this smaller text. And we're gonna click add, and we're gonna use CF page URL. I'll put this in here, I'll click another add, and I will do CF API key, just like so. So I have those. And then we're also going to add two more variables called init memory, right here and max memory and put that in this bottom one and so now we need to go and grab all the information that we're going to use for this so in our case for the first box cf page url we're just going to grab the mod pack from the default page the description page it should look something like this just the url mod packs and the mod pack name click copy paste in here and then the CF API key will be linked once again on the descriptions found under uh, the eighth step of setting these settings there will be a link but you're going to go to console.curseforge.com and sign up or log in with a Google account and then once you're logged in it's going to ask you to set an organization name set that to whatever you feel like and then on the far left, we're going to go to the API keys tab, copy this keys tab, come back over here and paste it into our CF API key. Now for the last two, this is going to be the memory required for the value that sometimes doesn't get set by modern Minecraft and TreeNAS very well. So we create variables to solve this problem. In the case of the uh, all mods 10 I've noticed 16 gigs to be the best option so it's going to be 16 and a capital G for those variables to work properly so under the network configuration tab 
we're going to set the host IPs just to the default host. As you can see, it's just going to grab the host IP for our true NAS machine. And then the next step we also need to do is change the ports if you already have Minecraft installed. So these ports are already being used by other Minecraft servers on this device. So I'm just going to switch it the last number to eight and the last number to nine. And then again, add the same host IP for the Archon port and the server host IP sections. All right, these two sections. Now under storage configuration, this is where that SMB share comes into play. So instead of using an IX volume, we're going to actually use a host path that already exists on the system. So again, you will open up your SMB share wherever your lo file location is. Go ahead and right click and create a Minecraft folder. As you can see, this is just an example of a Minecraft folder from a previous mod server that I've created. But your Minecraft server folder should already be empty. Okay, and so here we go. We have a Minecraft video modded folder, which is empty. And so we're going to go back over to TrueNAS and set our host path by mounting to this location. And so right here, we have that Minecraft modded video folder. We're also going to select the host path configuration, enable ACL. And then scrolling down just a little bit, we will also have this force ACL options flag. And then lastly, we have two important resources, the CPU location resource configuration at the very bottom, right before the install and the memory. So we need this memory tab to mimic our 16 gig version we set earlier in megabytes. So that'll be 16384. And then for CPU cores, we're going to set this to four because all mods 10 is pretty heavy. And then we're going to go ahead and click install and wait for this to do its install process. Okay, so if this is currently still deploying or running, you can stop this on either instance. We are going to change some of the contents within the folder. So you can actually see it's starting to populate data in this folder. We don't need it. So go ahead and click stop. Okay, and so once it's stopped completely, go back to your SMB share folder, delete everything within there because we don't need any of that content. And so here on the right side, we have those CurseForge server mod files we downloaded earlier. We're going to right click on it and we are going to extract all and then go ahead and let all of these thousands of files in this case extract to an unzipped folder. Okay, so now this is just that unzipped folder opened up for us. And we don't want to copy everything over into our SMB Minecraft modded folder. But we do want to move over mods, this kube.js, the config file, data packs, and default configs. So I'll just grab the bottom one, hold my shift key down and click the top one and then move these folders over to our SMB Minecraft video modded server folder. Okay, so now that those have copied over, we're just gonna go back over to our TrueNAS device. In my case, I'm gonna need to log back in. And then once you're logged back in, you can go ahead and start this machine with those files already in the folder. And once this starts up, we're going to be able to click the logs over here to watch the logs to make sure everything comes online. So right here, this little page icon, click view logs, click connect, and we're going to see running forge installer for Minecraft. This might take a while. I'm going to let this video pause and come back if we see any errors during this install. And if you do see any errors, please copy them, slap them in something like ChatGPT or perplexity.ai and see if you can solve your problems because some of the errors you might see are very unique to your situation or your mod pack or whatever it may be. So it'd be hard for me to really give you a solid answer in the comments. But if you do use AI, you take your error message and you find what's wrong and you fixed it, 
please comment down below so other people can learn from your trial and error as well. Okay, so as we can see, we're not really getting any errors. And if I go back, it shows it as running and not deploying. So we're going to go ahead and try to log into this bad boy. And we can see it's already using 13 gigs. So that's why I recommended at least 16. If you're going to have lots of friends on here, you want, may want even more than that. So that mod pack that we downloaded earlier, if we hover over it and we click play, we're going to give it just a second and we're going to see the Minecraft updater slash launcher start to boot. And then right here, you're going to need to go ahead and sign into your Minecraft account. If you have not done so already, go ahead and do that. And now once we are logged in, we can see all the mods Neo Forge 21. So we know we are using not normal Minecraft but the all the mods 10 version which we installed earlier in this video and go ahead and select play agree to all their legal liability documentation you know and go ahead and let whatever remainder stuff download that needs to be downloaded and then we'll go ahead and connect to our server to make sure it's all working properly okay so now that you can see it's loaded all 520 of the mods we can go to multiplayer Proceed, make sure that you've enabled JDK, JDK binary platform if you have not. Direct connection and then we're going to import the or type in the IP address of our TrueNAS machine and the port number that we used. So in our case it'll be 192.168.50.1.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.